Laser Mammoth makes it easy to manage your Rainmaker presets. So you'll first need to disconnect your Rainmaker from your case. If you press the save and load buttons at the same time, you'll see a connect USB message. So just remove your Rainmaker. You see there's a USB connection on the top. So we just plug in a USB cable there. And then you should see USB connected waiting for SysX. Uh, Laser Mammoth will automatically detect the Rainmaker or you can select it from a drop-down menu. This takes you to a Rainmaker page. You'll need to select the Rainmaker as your MIDI in and MIDI out device. And then once you've done that, you can request programs from the Rainmaker and it will read any presets that you have on the Rainmaker. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and rename presets as you'd like, or you can shuffle them around and change the order and uh, you can save those as a bank once you've arranged them the way you want. Uh, you can rename those banks if you'd like. And save that as a bank and if you want to you can also make that bank public so other people can download it and uh, take advantage of any cool presets that you've made. You can also use Laser Mammoth to load new presets to your Rainmaker or restore it to factory default. So if we select these presets, they show up on the clipboard here. So we can swap those onto the masterboard section here and then use that to overwrite the bank. So then it'll write those presets to the Rainmaker. Or for example, if you just want to replace or add a few new patches in, you can just select the, the bank of patches you want to use and just drag them into an empty slot. But uh, by adding presets, it shifts them down. So you want to make sure you delete a couple presets to just free up that space. Otherwise, they won't fit on the Rainmaker. And then you can overwrite the bank. It'll write them uh, to the Rainmaker. With a free account of Laser Mammoth, you can save three banks per synth. And if you pay for a pro account, you can save up to 20 banks per synth. Once you're done, if you press any button, it takes you out of this USB connected mode. Just disconnect the USB cable and you can put the Rainmaker back into your case. And that's how you use Laser Mammoth to manage your Rainmaker presets. Thanks for watching.